Well, the news out of San Marino, California. Craig Sesker, national award-winning journalist, publicist, and author, has been named the new public relations director for the growing Titan Mercury Wrestling Club. He joins us now from Colorado Springs. Craig, how are you? I'm good, Scott. How are you doing? Good. We've worked together uh, a good number of years now. I've watched your work uh, continue uh, to, to grow and exceed my expectations, telling the stories of the sport. And uh, you've written um, a great book with Bobby Douglas. You've authored so many different news pieces for USA Wrestling. Recently, you departed USA Wrestling to take this position with the Tight Mercury Wrestling Club. How did it all come about? Um, I just I got an opportunity to work with with Titan Mercury, and and I was pretty familiar with with the club and. Uh, you know, Andy Barth has done a phenomenal job. The club's really uh, made a name for itself really, really quickly, and, and Wayne Boyd running the operations, and Melina Wick, and John Rugan, and and uh, you know Andy Wayne, Melina, John, a lot of others. You know, a lot of, a lot of their coaches, Roy Seth Alger, a familiar name, and had have done really well. And I was looking for an opportunity to stay in wrestling, and and uh, you know became connected with them, and and. I'm going to try to further promote their club, which obviously is gaining huge momentum. They had their first world champion this year, 19 year old Kyle Snyder, the youngest world champion in U S history. And James green won a bronze medal. Um, they've got, you know, a great number of athletes and, you know, in their stable, Kyle Dake and, you know, some, some of the very good women in the United States. And so it's, uh, it's an opportunity for me to, to stay in the sport and, uh, you know, and I love wrestling and, and, you know, and I want to do everything I can to, to promote the sport and, you know, just to maximize the resources that we have. And go back to the time you spent at the Omaha World Herald, uh, the many articles that you wrote there. You've written literally thousands of articles, features, and releases for uh, different events, the most important of which, I think anyway, would be the, the successful fight for wrestling to stay in the Olympic Games. Uh, you were blindsided, as were many, uh, in the sport. You dug in and uh, did a yeoman's job when it comes to promoting all things positive about this sport. You found yourself in a defensive position, as did many, but you rose above that and rose to the challenge. Can you talk about that year 2013 in specific and facing that, that challenge? It was the uh, most challenging you know, obstacle that the sports maybe faced ever. And with, with its position being, you know, threatened by the international Olympic committee and, you know, the sport really, people really came together around the world. You know, the United States was a big leader, obviously in that cause, uh, Russia played a huge role, Japan, uh, Iran, the Islamic Republic of Iran. And, and a lot of people know that they have, uh, you know, wrestling their national sport and it means everything to those people. And, just the people that really came together, you know, um, people that contributed a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of resources, and just, you know, people really rallied together. And the, and the end result was wrestling's in through at least 2024 in the Olympics. And the sport's better. The rules are better. There's better leadership. Nanad Lalovich has done a really good job uh, as the head of, uh, United World Wrestling, formerly FILA, and the sport is definitely headed in a really good direction. Coming off, off a of great World Championships in Las Vegas, it was a, you know, I've been to ten of those, and that was that was the best one I've been to, and and uh, so the sport's got a ton of momentum right now, and you know, we're headed into the Olympic year t- less than ten months before the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, so it's a very exciting time for the sport. You've crisscrossed the state of Iowa as a, an employee at the Burlington Hawkeye from 93 to 99. Actually, even before that, you were a sports writer for them, dating back to 88, award-winning there. You went on to uh, work at the Omaha World Herald from 2000 to 2006, covering all aspects of wrestling. But it was when I saw the the book you wrote, the Omaha Scott Catholic High School team, um, and then the the next book, the Hall of Fame coach Bobby Douglas book, and and then the book you authored or co-authored anyway with Jamie Moffat on saving wrestling in the Olympic fight, I realized that you had so much more to give. 
while writing articles on a daily basis, sometimes several articles a day, is writing a book about the sport of wrestling more enjoyable, or is it just a different type of challenge? A little bit of both. It's, uh, you know, it's a lot of work. I mean, it's about a six-month, six- to seven-month project, for me anyway, to get it to where I wanted it to be. And, and uh, very grateful that I got the opportunity to, to do a book with Bobby Douglas, who's very much a legend in wrestling and has an unbelievable backstory as many of you know that, that read the book and, and, uh, you know, Bobby's Bob, there isn't a person on the planet that cares more about wrestling than Bobby Douglas. And he's done a tremendous amount for the sport and he's still doing and making contributions to the sport of wrestling. And I just saw him in, in Vegas and, and, uh, you know, he looks like he's doing really well. You know, he's, he's in his seventies, but he's still, you know, got a lot of fire and passion and energy. And, and, uh, so, you know, writing a book is kind of a dream of mine as, as a writer. And, um, you know, that's, that's something that, you know, I'm hoping to do more of down the road. We're talking with Craig Sesker. He was recently named the director of public relations for Titan Mercury Wrestling Club in San Marino, California. That may be the home base, but Titan Mercury's tentacles are reaching around the world. And they're coming up on the uh, Clubs Cup in Iran. They uh, had a tremendous showing last year. What is your opinion this year of the Clubs Cup and, and uh, Team USA, in this case, Team Titan Mercury, uh, going over there, not only representing, but winning the whole thing? Um, they'll have a shot. I mean, I think they were, you know, they were right there last year. And I know they're taking, uh, you know, Wayne, Wayne Boyd's still trying to uh, finalize the, the roster for the Titan Mercury team. But I know they're talking about taking uh, a two-time world team member, Tony Ramos, uh, young phenom Aaron Pico, you know, who's a cadet world champ and junior world medalist and, uh, Daniel Dennis, who, uh, finished second in the world team trials this year. You know, they're, uh, Andrew Howell, you know, who's been, you know, number two on the U S ladder, who's an NCAA champ. Uh, in addition to, you know, a number of other guys, possibly Tyrone, Tyrell fortune, the talented heavyweight, uh, who's training down at some case kids with Zeke Jones. And, and, you know, so there's some, there's some really good, uh, wrestlers that that they're going to take and you know they they that's tight mercury they want they want to win they're they're already you know, they've won a couple team championships at the u.s open and obviously you know snyder kyle snyder being a world champion he kyle won't compete i think he's going to return to the mat probably in december or january but um it's a it's a fun event it's a tough event and the iranian fans will come out and they they love their wrestling so it's it's a great opportunity for U.S. athletes to go over there, and it helps the U.S. program because these guys get a tough competition then against great opponents. We're talking with Craig Sasker, two-time National Wrestling Writer of the Year, graduate of Wartburg College. Uh, I want to point out, Craig, that uh, you, you were a standout in track and field for the Knights, running in seven uh, school record relays at Wartburg. You were, you were a wrestler. You wrestled from about, what, fourth grade all the way through high school? Yeah, I did. I and I lo- I've always loved to compete in in wrestling, and I still like to wrestle around for fun. And I, uh, it's just one of those things that gets in your blood, and, and you know, you always. It, I don't know what it is about wrestling. It's just, uh, you know, there's there's a real fellowship and connection and kinship that's that's pretty special. You know, and I grew up right outside Iowa City, so when I was growing up. It was during that real heyday when Dan Gable was, was building his great Iowa teams with, you know, Randy Lewis and Barry Davis, Jim Zaleski, you know, some just some real standouts, Royce Alger and Chip Pirelli, guys like that. And it was it was a fun time to to be a part of that. And, you know, it's just, um, you know, Iowa fans obviously are extremely passionate and you know, I grew up right in the middle of that. So that's, that's one of those things. And, and I, you know, I didn't have a real huge level of success. I was, I was, I fell one win short of the state tournament my freshman year and my senior year. So, and the, you hear the wrestlers who have a hard time getting over losses. I mean, it, every year around, you know, middle of February, I think about, 
you know, matches that, that I came up a little bit short. And it's just one of those things you put so much time and energy and hard work into that, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's tough when you come up a little bit short. And I think that's one of the things that builds, you know, life skills, builds a great character builder. You know, you learn how to hard work hard. You learn how to bounce back from adversity. Bouncing back from adversity, making changes in life, constantly reassessing position, changing levels. Craig Sesker is doing just that. He's been in our Nike hot seat today in his home in Colorado Springs, Colorado. One thing I do would uh, do want to mention, Craig, you have a beautiful daughter in Haley. Does she understand your, and I, I think it's fair to say, your love and obsession for the sport? Um, she does. I don't know if I'd call it an obsession, but I mean, I definitely, uh, love wrestling and I'm very passionate about it, but, um, you know, I'm first and foremost, foremost, I'm, I'm her dad and, and family means more than anything to me. So, um, obviously I'm, I care a great deal about sport wrestling, but you know, um, she's, she's a great girl and, and, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of where she's at in her life. And that's probably my biggest achievement in life is just, is, you know, trying to be a father to her and, and provide guidance for her. It's been uh, tremendous to watch and, and to see her grow up as well. Craig, we appreciate you taking the time. Congratulations on your new uh, position with Titan Mercury, Global Wrestling News, the TV show, and, and all the challenges that await. We appreciate the time. And, and uh, look toward the future with you. Thank you, Scott. And yeah, thank you for all you do for the sport as well. Our pleasure. Craig Sesker has been our guest, the newly appointed Director of Public Relations for the San Marino-based Tight Mercury Wrestling Club and, of course, Global Wrestling News as well. I'm Scott Casper. Thanks to Nike for sponsoring our hot, hot seat. And we appreciate you listening. <laughs>